हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल माय नेम इज हर्षल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक नेम्ड स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन इट इज अ मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स क्लास इलेवेंथ एन सी आर टी सो लेट स्टार्ट कम विथ मी topic we are going to understand the concept of stress and strain and learn about the hooke's law so let's start so first of all when force are applied on a body in such a manner that body is still in a static equilibrium is it deformed to a small or large extent depending on the material of body or magnitude or any physical quantity that deformation may not be noticeable visually in many materials but it is there so that's why it is called as a stress for example if we pull a spring like this if we pull a spring by any external force of our hand it gets deformed and uh, the length is very lengthy and after all after we um um means after we put out it then it comes into the original position so this is restoring force in equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the applied force so the restoring force restoring force per unit area is known as stress so stress is nothing but restoring force per unit area is known as stress for example if we press some sponge some ball it gets distracted and its length or its area gets small and after all when we take out our hand it gets into its original position so that is called stress stress is nothing but restoring force restore restoring force means internal molecular force of that any element or that any substance so that is called restoring force which is equal in magnitude and per unit area is known as stress so the si unit of stress is newton meter newton by meter square newton means it is the si unit of force and meter square it is the si unit of area and the dimensional formula of stress is mass into length raised to minus 1 into time raised to minus 2 so there are three types of stress first is longitudinal stress tangential or shearing test stress and hydraulic stress so if you didn't understand you will you are going to understand this very proper in this types of stress so let's go to the first point or first type of stress is longitudinal stress so what is longitudinal stress let's see longitudinal stress is nothing but it is a cylindrical sponge or cylindrical any substance applied force is opposite direction of the restoring force and restoring force is what opposite direction of applying force means force is conducting this side and restoring force is this side okay are you understand means this is restoring force and this is applied force means when we apply force in the opposite directions you know anti parallel directions or anti opposite direction opposite direction so it get lengthy means the length is increased the area is increased but after all after all it gets into it it gets into um its original position so when the restoring force when the area is increasing the restoring force is increasing so that is called tensile stress means it is increasing it is tensile like a length so it is tensile stress the formula in mathematics the tensile stress is restoring force denoted by r by area and compressive stress is means when we direct the direct the applied force and compress it like this and restoring force is opposite the, to that external applied force so that is compressive stress so compressive stress formula is restoring force of area so compressive stress and tensile stress are two or two parts of longitudinal stress now let's see the second point that is shearing stress or we can say tangential stress 
Shearing stress is what? When an object is displaced like in anti parallel side of its bottom area so that is called shearing stress means for example we took a cylindrical substance we took a cylindrical substance that is means slightly uh, displaced by anti parallel force i hope you understood so this is called the strain or we can say one minute let me size the decrease so this is called an tangential stress this is the a, a displacement of the cylinder when cylinder is slightly moved in the anti parallel direction so force is applied in here and force is means the both external force are anti parallel for example the applied force is here and the other side the applied force is here it is what anti parallel so in tangential or we can say shearing force it is anti parallel this restoring force uh, per this restoring force per unit area developed due to applied tangential force is known as shearing or tangential force so tangential or shearing force can be denoted by change in displacement by total length means delta x by l is the formula of shearing stress shearing stress means delta x by l so this is the angle angular displacement theta is angular displacement and the delta x means change in displacement and the total length so shearing stress is very easy now what is the hydraulic press or hydraulic stress hydraulic stress hydra means what water means a stress that is conducted in a water in presence of water that is called hydraulic stress let me explain the body develops internal restoring force that are equal and opposite to force applied by the fluid fluid or water body any fluid the internal restoring force per unit area in this is in this the fluid medium is known as hydraulic stress or it is also known as volume strain volumetric strain volumetric stress sorry so uniform means the um, force is acting all sides all sides to that ball so this is called uniform comp compression in the next video yes the volume changes to this means ball is like this but due to water the ball slightly changes its volume slightly changes its um size so that is called hydraulic press so it is also called volume strain because the it is all a strain strain is what strain we are going to learn what is strain but stress is what when the any external force or applied to an body and it gets a restoring force back is called stress okay this is the good elasticity and plasticity are the examples I means elasticity if you, a wire that is very strained the ductility is called elasticity and plasticity means the brittleness of that wire is called plasticity hydraulic press is same the formula for hydraulic press is hydraulic press applied force by area I means newton meter raised to minus 2 this is and it is the restoring force the blue arrows are restoring force and it is pressure so when pressure is applied to any body and the restoring force by intermolecular force intermolecular substance are acting towards or acting against pressure that is the phenomena is called nothing but stress now what is hooke's law hooke's law is elongation directly proportional to applied force and this is elongation of that spring and applied force by our hand so that elongation means for example this is wire and this elongated in elasticity like this so the displacement or we can say change in displacement by total length means change in displacement by total length is called strain strain is strain is nothing but means change in length divided by total length is called strain so strain is also denoted in form of tan theta let hooke's law is that stress is directly proportional to strain means stress is is equal to constant multiplied by strain it is called hooke's law hook give that stress is directly proportional to strain means if we increase the stress if we elongate the substance there displacement also increases so strain also increases and k is modulus elasticity means modulus of elasticity or we can say an 
um, proportional um, constant proportional that is also called modulus elasticity so the yes let's revise stress force by area strain change in dimension means delta l by delta means total dimension so force yes it is and volume let's suppose and what is volume what is the change of volume in the strain and strain volume is so it get distracted means the displacement so that is it is the delta volume by total volume i hope you understood thank you for watching bye bye subscribe to my channel and this is stress and strain nothing but bye bye thank you subscribe to my channel and share with your friends